So, I'm from Russian Moscow, as you may remember, and I heard that, um, so the professionals in Russian Moscow, they go and they get a, like a full bottle of vodka, unfortunately not whiskey, and then they take a glass, they each empty a glass, and even though they're professionals, they still sometimes feel like vomiting. So the trick is, drink a full glass of vodka, then sniff your own armpits. And then, uh, apparently, this somehow overloads your sensory system and you win. <laughs> and we will soon find out if this works. There's a bucket here if it fails. So, I'm gonna, I just only know this LDB, so I'm gonna do more of it. So, <clears throat> you can do aliases for commands in LDB. For example, the top one, XX, and then I can give in LDB any arguments to this. I can say $RX, for example, and it works. But then if you have these commands like image lookup that then takes these uh, dash R arguments, then actually then if you try to make it an alias, it doesn't work for some reason. So you can do a regex in your LDB init instead, and then, uh, then that'll work around it. But then, uh, so uh, in LLDB, uh, oops, you can, um, so if I do help XX, then it says that it's an abbreviation for this. But if I do, um, if I do help uh, IL, then it doesn't know what it is, uh, or help ILA. So these are just lost, and you can't actually redefine them. You have to quit LDB, and uh, so on. So moving on. Uh, so I have here Flash running, and then uh, I have a breakpoint, and then so usually I've been working with uh, browsers that are sort of open source or Microsoft gives you the symbols, but then I heard that Vupen has found this thing called Flash and I <laughs> thought I should get into it. And then I started Flash and then I got my stack trace and it's like this and I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's just numbers. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if, if I haven't done like the reversing computer thing before. So I don't know if my thing is novel that I chose to how I fix this problem. Um, and I listened to some talk where they fixed this problem with Windows, but I didn't have Windows. So uh, I realized that, uh, so here, here's my flash file. And so when I call math.atan, instead of doing the sensible thing and uh, implementing all the math functions themselves, Adobe unfortunately chose to delegate the math functions to the, to the system library. So now I can put a breakpoint on ATAN too, which I've already done, I'll redo it for show. And then uh, when here I'm running my flash, which is this, so first I, uh, call ATAN, then it breaks, then I do something, which here I'm not doing, then it calls ATAN again, and whatever it executed between those uh, two calls to ATAN, two, is probably do something. So then I can just replace the numbers with do something here. And then I can keep running this for different values of do something, and uh, then I know which part of the numbers belongs to every do something. And so <clears throat> to figure out where it goes between the eight hands, I could just step here and wait for it to come back to eight hand. But then apparently this is like super slow because it's not even out of eight hand yet. It just keeps going eight hand, eight hand, eight hand, eight hand, eight hand. So uh, I figured I'd uh, just skip ahead a little until like the next branch and uh, go through every branch and then uh, skip <clears throat> break there and 
look where the next branch is and see if I can come back. All right. <clears throat> so then I did the only sensible thing, which is look at the LLDB source code and then thread plan step range.cpp. They implement this functionality that I wanted. They do for instructions get next index, uh, get index of next branch instruction. And then if that exists, it's not unit max, which is like a thing, computery. <laughs> then you set the breakpoint at the next branch instruction. And then uh, you, uh, otherwise you just set it at the last one. So you were asking for get index of next branch instruction and then if we go to the, oops, not there. Uh, if we go to the implementation, then it's the size of M instructions, whatever that is. It's like 10. So it asks for the next 10 instructions, sees if there are branches or not, and then it goes there. And I was like, wow, they already did this, so I can just use this. And then, but this is actually, this thread plan step range is in a, a branch of, I mean, it, and it's in a part of LDB that this, code path is never actually accessed. So they implemented this, but you can't use it for anything. So that was unfortunate. So then I did the obvious next step, which is um, I implemented the same algorithm copied from the C++ file in Python. And here I say trace, and then so here I do get PC because I explained yesterday that it was hard to get the program counter. And uh, then I get current thread. And I just realized when I was looking at this that I, I implemented this in the opposite way as yesterday. So this is actually, I, I, I first I got PC by regexping from RERE. -E, but now I get all the threads and then I see frame zero, what their instruction pointer is and if it's the value of PCA that I know, then I know the thread. So now, even if none of the threads are stopped, according to LDB, I can still find the thread I'm on. And uh, then I have weird debugging, and then, uh, then I go here, and then I see if address class is not zero, then I say address class is not two, it is something, sorry, two. Then I do something, something, and then I set a breakpoint, and going back to the other thing, I call something. And then I'm open for questions. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, if I take 24 shots, I can do the whole hour. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>